Hey, it's great to be with you again today. It's the day before Easter. And for us, it's a day of preparation, right? We're getting ready for maybe eating dinner or lunch with our family and friends, going to church, celebrating Easter Sunday, the resurrection about Jesus. And it's going to be great, right? But 2,000 years ago, it wasn't so great. Good Friday had occurred. Jesus had been crucified and his body had been taken down from the cross. His side had been pierced with a, with a spear and blood and water had poured out. And that was a sure sign of death. Joseph of Arimathea, a, a religious man, a godly man who had been seeking the coming of the Messiah, went to Pontius Pilate and said, hey, can I have the body? And he took Jesus' body, wrapped it in linen cloth, and put it in the tomb, a tomb that had never been used before. Jesus' followers, the women, came and saw Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and they knew where it was. And then they had to wait, because the next day was Sabbath. It was Passover. They couldn't come and take care of the body, so... That day, they prepared spices and herbs for Jesus's body. They would go the day after Sabbath when it was okay to go, and then they would prepare the body. But that Saturday, that Sabbath day, it was quiet. People were fearful. You know, the men who had killed Jesus, well, Maybe they were looking for his followers. Maybe they were looking for his disciples. And there was this, this time when they just, it was dark. They were set aside. They were hiding. They didn't want to go out because they didn't know what awaited them out there. They were fearful. And as I look at our lives, don't we go through this sort of waiting after a death as well. Maybe it's the death of a relationship. Maybe it's the death of someone that we love. Maybe it's the death of a job or an opportunity or something in our community, something that we had worked so hard for that now, well, it was gone. And there's this time of waiting, of trying to figure out what to do next, of how am I supposed to keep going on? I don't know what to do. You see, that's where the disciples were. And maybe that's where we are in our lives as well. Maybe we need to just rest today, right? Take the time to focus on God, to seek God's will, to pray that he will open up doors for us, that he will guide us and lead us, give us a vision for where we're supposed to go and what we're supposed to do next. Those disciples they waited. We can do the same. May we keep our eyes focused on God during this time of waiting. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen.